Can you explain briefly what is exactly is an offshore account and what are the risks involved with, 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 with using an offshore account? Okay, so I used to use offshore accounts too. I was using five dimes back in the day before it got. Oh yeah, before. hell yeah! Wow, I was hell using five yeah. dimes way back. Yeah, uh, right. I had to learn what MoneyGram was just to actually get money sent into the account. But anyway, <laughs> that's a separate story. Point is, for the offshore, it means it's not based in America. Offshore literally means imagine a shore on a beach somewhere. It's in the Caribbean. That's usually how it goes. So they have a deep. For example, stake is the new one where you can bet with crypto. Is the thing that like Drake sponsors and they you see their ads all the time. That's an offshore book because it's not based in America, but you can bet it. But the point is offshore uh, offshore books are books that are not based in America, but have legal gambling rules based on where they're located. So a decent amount of places like Costa Rica, for example, that's where five times used to be located. That's where a lot of these books used to be located. So offshore just means location wise, it is not in America. You can use it, but it's based on gambling regulations from other countries, usually the Caribbean. That's what that means. And so, can you explain the risks though involved with that as well? Well, the risks are you don't know who's paying you. That's one issue because once again, it's a random book or platform from a country that you've probably never been to, and you're hoping that they send money into your crypto or you're trying to get paid through on a money gram or even like a check or anything like that. So you could potentially get ghosted. Most books do pay, but you never know. And we've seen shady practices even from FanDuel and DraftKings, but every now and then a random bet might void. I'm sure you've seen that before. You win a bet, suddenly they'll say that there's a bad line posted and they just cancel your bet. I don't know if you've had that happen to you. It's happened to me before. I'm such a noob, as my son would say. I'm a noob that I haven't had that happen yet. I'm I'm so glad that if somebody gets injured tonight, they'll right. cancel the bet for you and you're good. Like they don't they cancel bets now if, if uh, there's an injured player on your ticket. Um, that was that, 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 that never happened before when I was. I was gonna, that's not a thing that I'm familiar with. Yeah, on FanDuel they do it. They'll cancel my. It says it like, like a lock. Something pops up. But oh, you, that's that's a player. Okay, so that's for player props. That's not a common practice. That's because people on Twitter kept like demanding that FanDuel or certain books would refund them. That's not a normal practice. That's something that's relatively rare. If somebody gets injured, usually they just tell you to deal with it, and it is what it is. Right. But when it comes to the risks involved with offshore, though, it's just the lack of, I, I'd say trust, but I feel like it's mostly just the lack of certainty of where your money's coming from, who's running this damn operation. There's a lot of uncertainty involved. So the money grand story was back in the day, I'm going to the local CVS using the red phone in the back trying to dial up some <laughs> random number, and I'm trying to like send money to, I don't even know, Costa Rica, Venezuela. I don't know where the hell the money was going. But I'm going to the counter, I'm saying the name, and I'm like, all right, here's $100. Then suddenly I get a, like a referral number, and that's how I would fund my account. So it was, the, it was like shady. It looked that shady back in the day. That's why a lot of people with offshore stuff, it's cool, because you can gamble from anywhere, even if your state doesn't have legal gambling. But on the other hand, let's say that this random book just ends up not honoring their bets or they just don't pay you what are you gonna do right nothing right. based right. in costa rica what are you supposed to do you can't do nothing nobody Correct. can really You're screwed. And, and well and to and to finish the topic with the offshore account though a lot of the uh, i got a lot of these content creators they point to pinnacle.com as like a, an offshore account as well it used to be w6.com but they're also saying that that's where a legit gambler will go to and they create a market where it's like i don't say more trustworthy odds but that's a different market than you'd get from FanDuel and that, that the common casino odds. Is there any truth to that where Pinnacle.com and offshore accounts may have a the, that different odd, odd that they make? Is it better? Is it is it just another set of amount of information? From what I heard about Pinnacle, one, I heard that it's a pretty sharp book in general, but I think a lot of people like Pinnacle because I believe they post their lines first. So it's more of like a first come, first serve thing where if you want to bet early, you're up at two, three in the morning. You want to beat some lines that are going to be posted in America, maybe a couple hours later. Pinnacle, from what I remember, is usually the book that posts their lines first. And you could argue that other sports books might base their lines off of where Pinnacle is. So I'm not saying that every offshore is a shady operation. I'm just saying that's the case with some of them, which is why it's a bit scary at times. But Pinnacle and some other books are trustworthy. I've used some from time to time. I've used Bet Online before, for example. I've used a couple of books here and there offshore. But it definitely has its perks. Not all of them are perfect, but Pinnacle and off some offshore books do possess some value. Pinnacle in particular, 
I think people like because they are the first book from what I remember to post their lines. So they are early, early. So if you want some predictions, early indications on where other books might open their lines, Pinnacle is usually the place to go from what I've heard. And that's and then that's up with you at three in the morning. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if yeah. I'm up at three in the morning or just I'm fully awake because I still wasn't trying to sleep before that. But yeah. Right. <laughs>